Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to go over some partial derivatives and do some practice problems. So just a reminder for the notation for partial derivatives. Um, this is called partial f with respect to partial x, partial f with respect to partial y, partial f of x, partial f. Okay, these two are the same and these two are the same. Equal, equal. You get the point. Uh, we're also going to look at the end uh, stuff like this. Um, so you say this one here as partial derivative with respect to y of f of x, okay? And this one you would say partial derivative with respect to uh, x of f of... Ah, okay, hold on. Okay, it's partial derivative with respect to x of f of y. That's it, okay. You can re re go back and listen to what I said then because I probably won't be able to say it again. But, <laughs> well, not now at least. Okay, on a test, yeah. Okay, anyway, so first problem, we have f of x of y. f of x, y equals x squared, y plus x, y squared. Okay, so I'm going to use the shorthand notation because I prefer it better. And I use, we have partial f over par partial f, partial x equals, okay, so the key is, uh, keep, at, keep y constant when doing the partial derivative with respect to x. Okay, so what you would get is 2x, so like taking the derivative of x squared, and you treat y as the constant, so you leave it y. Um, then you do the next part here. So derivative of just x is 1 times, or you, since you treat it as a constant, you just leave it y squared. Okay, so now we'll do partial derivative of y. So instead of keeping y constant, this time we're going to keep x constant. Okay, so partial derivative, you would have x squared, so x just stays the same, um, times the derivative of y, which is 1, and then plus uh, the derivative of y squared is 2y, and then you leave x, so you get 2xy. Um, simple, fast answer right there. That's just the partials for both x and y. Next. Okay, so now we're going to take the partial derivative of e to the e to the square root of x plus y. So to do that, partial derivative of x would be... So what I do is I would write the exponent here like this, one half. Okay, so uh, using the power rule, you would do one half and e. So I just brought the one half out from the power rule here, and then you the you leave this the same. Oops, x plus y here, and since it's chain rule, you got to take the derivative of what's on top too. So that's where that one half came from. And then you would have x plus y to the negative one half. So to write this simpler, so if that confuses you here, then the one half should go here. So that actually would make better sense for you to see. Okay, so that means your answer, if we just simplify it, would get you that. And that is your answer. Next question. Okay, so... Um, we got log base 3, y squared minus x squared. So you should remember um, that the derivative of a logarithm with a base is 1 over u times ln of a uh, du dx. So that's like the notation. Um, so pretty much we're just going to follow that formula. But we're doing it with partial derivatives. So f partial derivative of partial x would be, uh, let's see, 1 over u would be 1 over y minus x squared, and ln of a, this is a, so that would be ln 3 times the, so using the chain rule, what's on the inside. So since we're leaving y um, constant, so if y was a number, say, um, say the number was 3, so I'll leave that there, the derivative of a constant goes to 0, 0, so, and that goes away, 
and then the derivative of negative x squared is a negative 2x. And to simplify it, you would get negative 2x over the quantity 1 minus x squared times ln 3, or the natural log of 3. So that's the partial derivative of f of x. So now on to the partial derivative of uh, y. I just realized that we didn't do the partial derivative of y here. But um, I do, I can tell, just because I can tell, um, that the partial derivative is actually going to be the same, I believe, for f of y too. So this is the same partial derivative for both with respect to x and with respect to y, um, simply because the derivative of e to the x is e to the x kind of concept there. All right, so now we're going to do partial derivative of y. I'm going to make space real quick, so hopefully you have that answer. Okay, so partial y, uh, you do the same thing, 1 over u, which is 1 minus x squared, times the ln a, which would be 3, because remember this is a, this is a. Um, then you would multiply by what's on the inside because of chain rule. And since we are making sure that x is the constant this time, this we're pretending is a number, say, 3 again. And the derivative of the constant is 0, so it goes to 0. Um, so that means you would have 2y squared, so times 2, it would just be 2y. Yeah, so derivative of y squared is 2y. And then that could come up there, and that would be sim that could come up here, and that would be simplified. And so these are your answers for the partial derivative here, partial derivative there. You get the point. Okay, this is a really important problem, and it's also really cool when you figure it out. I did this on my own, and I'm like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. Okay, so anyway, um, this kind of problem you're taking. Oh wow, I didn't finish writing here. Um, so this problem, you're taking the third partial derivative uh, with respect to x and y, um, or x squared, whatever. Okay, so here we go. So what you do for this problem is that you're going to have the partial derivative of x, uh, the partial derivative of x of x, or the double partial derivative of x, and then you'll have the partial derivative of y, and the partial partial derivative of y. In order to figure out what this is, uh, you also need to know that uh, what the whatever I said earlier, which is uh, partial, well, let me say this again, okay. It's the partial derivative with respect to y of f of x. And then you also need to know the partial derivative with respect to x of f of y. So you say what's in here first, that's the key. I how to say it. Okay, so I'm just going to break it down on a separate, um, actually, yeah, so keep that in mind, I'm going to move over here. Um, okay, so the partial derivative of f of x. So, uh, take the derivative of 3x cubed, that would be 3x squared, and since we're treating this as a constant, we leave it alone, cosine y. Now let's do that again just so it's easier, the partial partial derivative of x. Um, so same thing, take the, derivative of the, take the derivative of that and that would be 6x and then, yeah, 6x cosine y, that's it. Cool, got that. So don't fall for the trap, you're going to want to take the derivative but don't. Because um, we're treating it as a constant, remember that, we're treating it as a constant, as a number. Okay. All right, so let's try this one. f of y, that would be, so the partial, de not f of y, the partial derivative of y would be, okay, so we keep this and take the derivative of this. So uh, you would get the derivative is sine, negative sine y, and that would stay the same, so I'm going to bring the negative out here, because remember this is the constant, and then the partial, partial derivative of y would be, so take the derivative, oh wait, yes, I believe that's right, I might have screwed this up, but I got this, hmm, yeah, I, from what I can recall, 
Oh, wait. Never mind. Pardon my... Yeah, anyway. So I thought, you leave this... This is the constant. You leave it the same. Okay, x cubed uh, cosine y. So the derivative of this this time. Um, and make sure the negative goes away, too, when you take the derivative of negative sine is cosine. Derivative of negative sine is cosine. And then we leave this here because the constant, I know I've said that 50 billion times, but here we go. Okay, now the new part. Here's this next step we're adding. So, what we're doing is, okay, so what we're doing is we're taking the triple partial derivative of f, and that looks like this. Okay? Um, so the derivative of the derivative of the derivative of what we're taking the derivative of. Okay, let's try it again. Derivative of the derivative of the derivative of the function. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go one by one. So just look at this. One problem. How do you take the derivative of what's on the inside? You would get uh, negative x. Oh, remember this one's with respect to y. Pay attention to that, too. Um, so you notice how this is a 2 here. That means there's one there and one there. So that's two x's, and then the last one's a y. So yeah, we're doing this with respect to y. So respect to y, you leave x as a constant, x cubed. And then you would leave, or cosine y. No, that'd be sine y. What am I doing? Okay. Negative sine y. I had that. Okay. There we go. And then you take the derivative of that. Oh my gosh. Partial derivative. Sorry. Am I partial? There we go. Partial derivative. With respect to x this time. So that would be, you take the derivative of this. That would be negative 3x squared sine y. And then that gets rid of that one here. So I'm just going to change the color. Uh, I should probably change it to this color because that's the one we're using. Um, and then the last thing, oh my gosh, it looks like it, okay. The last thing is we take the partial derivative, and this is our last step, and you would get negative 6x sine y. And that, my friends, is your answer here. Uh, just remember, uh, you take the derivative of this, and this is the constant. So I'm going to underline all the const. Never mind, I got to go. So um, that's the final answer to this problem here. So that's the third partial derivative. Congratulations if you got it. Great job, and uh, keep up the good work.